So, hello, this is a presentation about my concept or my view of the application of quantum physics for the new medicine. And um, I gave this presentation also in Gramado in South, South uh, Brazil this year. And um, it's a different way of looking at quantum physics because what you've heard until now is about, about this quantum principles course uncertainty and then the complementary wave particle nature and then they make up usually a big metaphysical interpretation about this uh, mainly focused on the uncertainty principle that everything is uncertain everything is probability everything is potential so whatever you wish can make it true because there's nothing that can keep you from making it true and this was something Amit Goswami <laughs> as always presented to a very very receptive crowd uh, saying you can do whatever you want with your life it's all potential that's what physics tells us and uh <laughs> so of course everybody likes to hear this if you are a housewife and you have been married for 20 years with a man that you <laughs> you're getting more and more sick about and then uh, you have no money and you have never traveled and uh, your children are not the way you want them to be somebody tells you everything that you want can be true eventually you just have to wish it you did not wish it you see that's the same <laughs> same with the secret and it's it's a million dollar seller because it gives you a little uh, ease on your situation and actually you have your life is not long enough to 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 see that it's actually that it's actually not not true and of course <coughs> it it's it's true that in some areas you can do a lot if your attitude changes if your uh, if your positiveness changes if your way the, you look at things changes but if you are sick seriously uh, this I tell you, it's just an it's just a theory that when you have cancer, that you just wish to be different, different <laughs> that it does much. And um, so here we are meeting the two worlds of a new age and uh, the conventional conventional that they, they don't want to even look into this direction, but also the new age doesn't want to look in the direction of what are the facts and what are the limitations. Everything is possible. So. That's what you've heard until now, and uh, this is actually what I want to focus more and more in the future. That's another concept that is actually key to quantum physics. It's the Eigen principle, and really, physics, quantum physics, was invented by Planck, Heisenberg, Schrödinger, and what they found basically that in the microscopic world really like in the in the complex world of what we see it's not uh, possible to give closed equations where you can predict any part of the picture for every point in the future this was the Newtonian idea and even Einstein was <laughs> saying eventually we'll have this full knowledge about the world and he never liked quantum physics. He said quantum physics and the idea of a spooky, he called it spooky action at a distance. It's, it's something that will eventually go away for a science that can predict everything at any time, at, at any detail. And this shows Einstein was really an, a Newtonian thinker, basically. He wanted a, a world where everything can be predicted like a clockwork. Sorry for him. Uh, then Planck, Heisenberg and Schrödinger, they were more uh, philosophical minded and um, but also they, like here I, I'm writing here, Erwin Schrödinger said the verbal interpretation on the other hand uh, of, of, meta, of the metaphysics of quantum physics is on a far less solid ground in fact in more than 40 years physics have, have not been able to provide a clear metaphysical model, so the idea that just because there's this uh, this famous experiment that a particle can show as a wave or 
is a particle <laughs> or a, pa a wave can show as a particle uh, uh, that it has both possibilities is is not a good basis to live a life where you think everything is possible and it's just my wish that decides it's it's a very naive way of uh, thinking and actually see I'm, I'm this recording here from a cruise ship in the Mediterranean and down there is like a few hundred <laughs> mostly Americans almost all naked uh, all drunk <laughs> and music and uh, all trying to to what do what they have 10 days of vacation most of them <laughs> or two weeks or three weeks and so in these three weeks they try to forget themselves so this is what I want to show there's one, there's always the, the, the challenge of our life is to bring meaning and purpose to it. And the quantum physics, the, the, the new age interpretation of it gives a certain um, uh, feeling of I have, I have the meaning of life. It's I know I want what I want and what I want will be given to me. So it's a it's a very very simplistic idea uh, but it it helps a little bit to go along with the uncertainty that really life is life is uncertainty and so you can either have this ideas of i can do what i want if i really uh, want it or like those guys down there lying in the sun burning some <laughs> burning <laughs> burning some uh, some holes in their skin getting drunk and, and having spending those three weeks uh, for just having fun, forgetting their life and then going back to their life. And so what I show is to bring the daily, the positive, the negative, the hard, the soft, the day and the night and the pain and the happiness all together. And so this daily has what purpose? It has the purpose of creating a more, a greater sense of self. And Eigen is the German word for self. And Eigen is the most important, or maybe the second most important concept of quantum physics. And it is about, uh, and of course, from from the from the physicists, it was the attempt of creating a mathematical representation of. Uh, of basically only particles and, and a few simple um, simple um, uh, environments that can explain all possible outcomes of an experiment but what they always saw that this, um, these outcomes can only be given with a certain uh, statistical probability but what is the particle, is it a particle or is it a wave? It's basically a mathematical function at best to be described. And this mathematical this, the function can give results uh, if asked for certain boundary conditions. So the eigen is the most essential existence or the most ex essential description of the particle or the wave or the, the surrounding of it. And this Eigen is the essence of quantum physics. Now, Eigen, I say, is also the essence of life. And this is, I'm not alone in this. Our most Indian saints and, and also, of course, Plato said, know thyself, know thy Eigen. And this is the, the purpose of of uh, of life, and he actually was not inventing it. <laughs> he also got it from uh, the Delphic Oracle. There, it's written in the in the center stone. It's uh, it's create a sense of self. This is know thyself is the essence of our Western civilization, and really, if you look, it's the also the essence, the deepest uh, purpose, uh, focus, um, aim of all religion and so how do we do 
do this? How do we do this? This is the, this was the question of all time, and um, I want to make this part of the uh, of a second part of a, of, a, of a video, but I wanted to give you the idea that really quantum physics is not so much about possibility and and um, and uh, duality. It is about the description of Eigen, of that there is a description that can be put into mathematical terms that can give the, the essential nature of a particle or of a wave uh, that fulfills all uh, criteria to be able to be asked for what will happen if I do this or what will happen if I do that to the wave or particle. And this is the same for our life. If we know the eigen, if we know ourselves, we know what will happen and what we can do uh, and what we uh, better don't do and where is a door and where is a wall. And so finding the eigen and also reinforcing the eigen, this is the purpose of life and that's the, the essence uh, also idea of quantum physics. So more about how to do this in the next presentation.